I think Oris may have quietly fixed the jumping minute hand on caliber 400, the new standard. Let's check it out. Introducing the all new Oris Pro Pilot X in full titanium, and it definitely has a Jekyll and Hyde effect. First of all, the build quality is excellent. The brushing on the angular, sharp, dynamic case, like all Oris watches, is fantastic. But when I first held it in the hand, because of the titanium and it's so lightweight, it might feel cheap to you. One of the employees at Kavar Jewelers held it and said, no way, and had a disappointed look on their face. So titanium is definitely going to turn off some people. But for me, it's the dial. And this might sound crazy because it's called the Pilot X, but there is no X factor here. The dial maybe is doing it. I'm not 100% sure, but when I hold it in hand, I know it's quality, I can tell, but maybe because the dial is so flat and barren, it kind of, I hate to say it, feels like a cheap watch. And when you stack on the lightweight feel, no heft, that adds to that cheap feel as well, unfortunately. But it is not cheap. Coming in at a price of 4,300 USD. Wow, that's high. But you know what? You're getting the Caliber 400, the new standard, an excellent movement that competes very well with watches much higher priced. And it's completely in-house from an independent brand, 1904 Holstein, Switzerland. There's a lot of pride in this brand. You know what? This watch reminds me of the Vulgari Octo Finissimo. That's what the Simpsons call the watch stores. Bulgari sign, they put vulgar. <laughs> it's awesome. Now, I know I criticized the dial for being flat and boring, but I think it was on purpose because the watch has many flat angular shapes, just like an F35 fighter jet. So when we look at this watch as a whole from afar, it is very cohesive and it stays true to its theme throughout. The one thing I love about the dial though is the color play. It looks like asphalt and has a pale titanium look that when you put it on an angle, looks black. It changes color, maybe like the titanium on a true jet. The hands I think are beautifully done. Okay. They're highly grained. They look rough, beautiful. I love that look and filled with black loom. There's nothing wrong with the hands. It's just the dial. I think it needs applied indices and maybe an applied Oris logo. In line with that jet theme, we do have a turbine bezel. Looks like the fans of the engine. Beautiful. And the same grip on that 7 mil screw down crown that has a clutch system giving the watch 100 meters of water resistance. Now let's do those measurements. 39 millimeters in diameter. We have a thickness of 12.2, so nice and thin, including that double domed sapphire crystal anti-reflective coating on the inside, no drilled lugs and a lug to lug of 47.2. Bracelet 20 mil tapering down to 16. You get a nice dramatic taper and look at that gorgeous bracelet catching the light with the flat broad edges. It is solid end links, solid links with screwed links, and it does have that airliner seat belt style clasp. Sometimes you can close the seat belt while handling and then it won't lock here. No matter what you do. So you got to reopen it. Make sure it's flat first and then push in. Okay. You do get a little bit of extra thickness right at the pinnacle of the seat belt latch. Caliber 400 is rated better than COSC, but it's not officially certified. Plus five, minus three seconds a day, 21 joules, hack hand wind, automatic, 288 VPH, five days power reserve, 10 year warranty, 10 year service intervals, and it's adjusted to five positions. So it should do well. And let's call it plus eight. Powerful amplitude, no error. Okay, we are going to do 12 down to see that positional variance and how is it going to react on our wrist. So plus eight dial up. I'm expecting much lower now to, to hit that rating that they said they hit plus five minus three. Okay, ignore the first number at 10, seven. Okay, six, much better. 
0.0 B error, very nice, so no error. Amplitude is still unbelievably powerful. Fourth and final round, ignoring the first, plus six. Let's go one more. Come on. Plus six. Okay. All right, not bad. Okay, there is the Loom Shot. It's definitely one of the worst I've ever seen in my life. Black, super Luminova. My camera is struggling right now. I don't know if you guys can even see it. When Oris released this movement and you were setting the date, the Minahan would jump and people were upset. I think they added a gear to dampen that interaction. Let's check it out. Let's set the time. There was a hack before where you would have to pass your intended time by five minutes, go back, and the jump would disappear. But now you can just go forward and it doesn't jump. So I'm pretty sure they did an update with new movements. It, there's always going to be minor improvements over time. And that is one of them. So if you have one of the original Caliber 400s and you're worried when you do your 10 year service, they're going to add that extra gear. No problem. Now, if you want to buy this watch, email me for a discount code from Kavar Jewelers. Thank you for lending it into the channel so we could check it out. And guys, if you're still here, please remember to subscribe, like the video and watch the videos on the right of your screen right now. And I'll see you in the next one.